Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we're on Serene Coast. This is a map I don't get to see very often and kind of glad because it's not the best arty map in the world. I mean it's not bad but it's it's far from ideal. Um, there are a lot of places for people to hide and a lot of easy paths for light tanks and small tanks to get through and, and really mess up your day. So we spawned in the south and when I spawn in the south I tend to go behind the little uh, rock bunker to my left and there's a little bit of a hill that if I hit it uh, at speed I can generally just climb right up turn around and start shooting and so that's where I believe I'm heading you can see it, I'm kinda of pointed right at it right now that little little outcrop right there if I hit it at good speed I can get right up past the rock and right onto the grass just like that all right and that allows me to get above the rock but at the same time hidden by it so I don't have to worry about getting spotted and shot at but yet I can shoot over top of the rock and we've got a 1390 who spotted first and that is a booger of a little tank and I put the shot out and we splashed him we hit to the right of him so I don't know how much damage we did but he, he's a light tank so any shot within you know splashing distance of him is gonna ruin his day um, just to check back on him yeah so we took half his health in that first shot that's not unusual um, but I say he's a booger of a tank because that thing's got a 90 millimeter gun on a light tank and he's not exactly far from being agile now that first shot I put out on the Yag was a direct impact it looked like it may have hit to the right side of him uh, on his tank so I don't know exactly how much damage I would have done there but it, at minimum it should be right around 450 to 500 damage on that Yag uh, we got two E hundos rolling up here and they're getting awfully uh, awfully aggressive so we need to put them back in their place remind them just that the you know there are people watching them you get these uh, clans out there or just platoons in general and they think that if they roll together they're unstoppable especially in these big heavy tanks but uh, they also make themselves easy targets because they overplay their hand. Uh, they think that they've just got the easiest uh, easiest job in the world. And if you start putting hurt, putting the hits on them, they get frustrated and don't know what they want to do. So we've splashed. Well, the first one we direct impacted, the second one we splashed. But both these E-Hundos now know that they can't just sit out in the open and they're headed towards the rocks, which is a good play by them. And as long as they stay there, I'm not going to be able to do anything to them. Now the second E-Hundo, who's uh, not as good a player as the first one, is kind of staying out in the open. Now he's backed up tight to the rock. But uh, if he pulls forward, I'm going to be able to hit him. Uh, but I can't sit there and look at him forever. We've got a motherland here begging for it, so I put the shot out. And we missed him. Now, that was a long shot. He's on the back side of a hill, so it stretched my reticle out. So it's, not a, it's a long shot to try to hit. But... Uh, you got to take the shot. If you've got a shot, you got to try to take it. Because you'll never... You're going to miss every shot that you don't take. And you're going to hit some of the shots that you do take. So which is better? Hitting some of the shots that you take or missing all of the shots you don't take? Just something to ponder. Anyway. <laughs> Back to the E-Hundos. Because they are our biggest threat. We are very weak on the left side, so I need to give them as much, you know, as much cover and protection as I can from these big heavy tanks. Um, I'm trying to go for this E-Hundo because he was broadside on to an 8-inch howitzer. Generally, that's a pat, uh, paddling, as I've explained in the past. However, this time he gets away with it, I end up splashing directly behind him. Now, he is broadside on to a lot of people in the middle there that could have put some rounds into them but they chose not to now our mediums calling for help um, which you know I would be too if I'm in a medium and two e hundos are in front of me so as soon as these guys get lit back up I'm gonna try to put another shot into them and there we go the, the aggressive one of the two is pushing up shot out we overshoot him now our mediums in trouble Now our medium is in trouble. Now here's where a good arty comes in handy. 
because this medium is in trouble. He, he knows for a fact that he is going to die unless he gets some help. Now this first E-Hundo, I don't know if he's just not not loaded or what. There he goes. He puts the shot in him. But now I've hit him. Now all that medium has to do is pin him. There it is. 43 damage. My favorite number. 43, he's done. All right, now that leaves the second E-Hundo. Now this E-Hundo has half his life left, and that medium, even though he was full health, he took a 700 roll once. And so he's not about to just charge in there and try to circle this E-Hundo next to that rock. But, oh, that time we, we get a little bit careless. We shot, and it caught the rock. Uh, but that E-Hundo's coming out to make the same mistake that the, medium, or that the other E-Hundo made. He's getting away from all of his protection. He's pushing up, and now he's backing back towards the rock. He's like, okay, I think I screwed up here. Because now he finds himself, he's all alone. But he's not, you know, not to be deterred. And there we get another 547 roll on him. And that medium's got to start feeling pretty good at this point. And that, it looks like somebody, the light, or the, shoot, the tank destroyer just put a hit on him. And now the medium gets to go in and clean up for 216. Anybody could have done that. So, we've managed to hold the right or hold the left. That was what we needed to do that time. We needed to hold it at all costs. All right, now we've got a heavy in the middle, but I'm relocating because I don't want anybody sneaking up behind me. Coming from the right side, so I I relocate towards the left, and I aim back towards the wreck. And we've got some big guns still alive in this on the enemy team that I need to take care of. First of which is this T-95, which is probably the most troll in the game. I mean, let's be, let's be fair. That T-95 parks in front of you. If the guy knows what he's doing, he's going to wreck your day, and there ain't much you can do about it. But we got a T-54 here. He's spotted at the moment. We catch the rock, unfortunately. Otherwise, he'd be dead. Um... We've got heavy tanks moving in on our position, but they're kind of distracted at the moment. This is still anybody's ball game. We've got a slight lead, but as you've seen in other games, I mean, that could go either way. This is an E3. He needs to go. So, shot out on him. I call the target, and he's dead. So, that's one big gun down. That still leaves the T95 here, which I believe, honestly, is probably even more dangerous than the E3 just from an armor standpoint and somebody gets a nasty hit on him for 400 right through the front I would imagine they either hit his commander's hatch or, or just had a good shot and pinned it uh, we've got a motherland on the backside shot out on him and we overshoot him because he's on the backside of that hill yeah it's to be expected you're taking shots at targets that you know are gonna be a ridiculous shot if you hit but at the same time you could wait for a better shot but again back to the uh, you're gonna miss every shot you don't take and you're gonna hit some of the shots you do take now there's one tank destroyer left where could he be there he is right there now are we gonna get a chance to put a shot on him before he dies I don't think so Eight second aim time. He's a T30. Everybody knows how to how to pin them nowadays, and down he goes. Three shots his way. Three three pins. He dies. So we got eight hits, two kills. Should be a relatively decent match. 4,200, two kills. Not bad. But if you like what I'm doing, punch that like button. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video.